And today I have a wig unit sponsored by Eunice Hair. Thank you guys so much for sending over this wig. So in the background, I'm going to be showing you guys the unboxing. But for now, this is a 24 inch, 180% density wig unit in a body wave texture. And this is being marketed as their pre everything glueless wig unit. So you guys know I went crazy with the glueless wigs last year, but I am highly impressed, okay? Highly impressed with this new technique of these glueless wig units. This is my very first install, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So this is the wig straight out of the box, and of course I did tint my lace. So again, this is a pre-everything wig unit. It's pre-parted, it's pre-plugged, it's pre-cut, it's pre-styled. Like, it's pre-everything, you guys. Like, it's really good. And I love how they have, like, upgraded it and used adhesive tapes at the air tabs. I absolutely love that. Like, I really, really love that. So, I'm going to say that, you know, even though it's glueless and it's pre-everything, you also have to make sure that the wig fits your face and things like that. So, I am going to be, in this hair review, like, shaping it to my liking and doing you know my own little final touches to it but i would definitely say this is a really good like foundation of a wig so i'm going to go in and take off the adhesive tape and i'm just literally pressing it down you are going to get some additional tape in your um, packaging you guys so you know if it stops sticking you are able to like reapply it and it's super easy super simple and also i like that you are able to like remove the tape and you can like put it in different placements because this could be a little short for people who have like a bigger head you know and you don't want it to get on your edges the tape but i didn't find the tape to be really harsh like at all so yeah now i do find that with the glueless wig units that they can cut the hairline a little boxy so that's why i go in and i plug the hairline right at the front you guys and um you will also need to go in with your foundation to cover up the tape because you are going to be able to see it once you take the um, blue side off i guess so i'm just showing you guys what it looks like here one side plugged and the other side isn't plugged but i'm just going to go in and do the same exact thing but i'm just going to chit chat with you guys for a little bit again i love this new technique you guys i just feel like it was a very well thought out wig unit and i love that with this they are using the adhesive tape for it and i don't know i'm using new products so i just found that that new product i don't know if i like it just yet because again in my last video i said that it was more of one of those foundations that picks up and i don't think i like that so i don't know if i'll be using it in the future but anyways i found that it was getting a little fuzzy once i like went in and plugged used the foundation and stuff like that so i'm just going in with some scissors and cutting off the fuzzies because again this is a glueless wig so it needs to look as seamless as possible so i'm taking this wax stick and i like to make sure that my hair is like flowy and it's like out of my face and it has a lot of body and stuff like that so i like to hot comb it going back and um that's pretty much it this can actually be purchased on my amazon storefront as well it's a really good product i think this is like my second or third time trying it on one of my hair videos and i actually really like it so it's probably going to be one of those products that i keep in my lineup for 2024 and yeah but look at this wig unit you guys like even the freaking curls like what i'm like impressed with the fact that i did not have to go in with any of my hot tools and i actually did heat up one of my hot tools to like add some curls to it but i didn't need to it wasn't necessary these curls are actually st it's like day three or four right now and i actually still have the wig on and the curls are still there like literally the body is amazing i also didn't even have to like cut any like layers in or anything i think that it looks really good with the curls that are giving you guys like absolutely amazing like they really did this wig they really did this wig let me know what you guys think how it looks right now because i'm actually going to go in and put some baby hairs on it because i want to show that as well i'm into like the fluffy baby hairs so you guys will see that and then i'm also going to show you guys what it looks like flipped over 
um to the side and it also looks just as good you guys like highly 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 recommend this kind of glueless wig units i am ditching all of those glueless wigs from last year i think I'm, i was so tired of them i did not want to review another glueless wig unit but i absolutely love this wig it's so good like it looks really good as well so let me know what you guys think of the technique like do you guys like the adhesive tape at the ear tabs do you guys like glueless wigs do you just prefer to glue your wigs down would you be interested in a wig unit now that you see me do this type of install i really did try my best you guys like i took my time on this hair review i really did um because i'm trying to give like better installs and use different products and stuff like that but i just think that it looks really good and i really would like to know what you guys think of the install like look at it glueless glueless no baby hairs no baby hairs ear tug behind your ear it looks so good so i'm just gonna go in and do my baby hairs for you guys I think I'm taking a little bit of time for that, but all you guys would need is the Fantasia Spritz, um, a pencil flat iron, a pencil flat iron, and also a really good edge brush. Now, I just wanna talk about the edge brushes for a minute. The ones that they sent in the hair packages, they aren't good ones. They're too soft and I hate using them. So I had to go on like this Amazon run of like testing out edge brushes for you guys i was like i'm gonna find like some really good edge brushes so the edge brushes that are in my amazon storefront are actually really good um they have the boar's hairs so that's what you guys need to look for when you're getting an edge brush boar's hairs edge brushes i hate the ones that come in the wig packaging but i'm just using some spritz curling the baby hairs and brushing them down that way and then eventually i'll just kind of like comb them out once they set in and that's pretty much it you guys so i'm just so glad that i'm able to show you guys a little bit more versatility with this wig unit also can we just talk about the luster of this hair because i did not use any product in it again this is like straight out of the box type of content and it's just so good i hope you guys enjoy it and again let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section don't forget that all the products are linked in my Amazon storefront. Stay tuned all the way until the end so that you guys could see like the final look and also what the hair looks like over to the side, flipped over to the side. And that's all that I have for you guys. So I'll talk to you in my next video.